Why I came to visit? Yeah, because I know the uh, center, uh, the Human uh, Help Network Center. Uh, I'm very, I admire this center very much. Uh, they are doing um, indispensable, important things for orphan children and also for children of migrant workers. They receive them in the center. They give them care. They give them education. They do activities, uh, important and meaningful activities with them. They help them also to find some leisure, to have food. Uh, and I think this is a very essential and important work they do. And therefore I thought uh, that if they invite me to visit some of their new projects, I will of course come uh, and see that work. And then you come here and see many handicrafts here. How, do, how, do, how about the opinion of the handicraft of the children? Well, I am generally admiring a lot um, the handicrafts of Thai people and of ethnic people living in Thailand because there is so much dedication and so much passion in the work. It is so well done, every detail is cared about so much. But then if it's done by children, it's even more admirable. And uh, I'm delighted to seeing that um, children in need uh, can be enabled and empowered to do such uh, meaningful and such beautiful work. And by doing this, uh, they help themselves, they help each other, they help their community. So it's enabling them, uh, helping themselves. And I think this is a, a, a great, a great project. Uh, I want to ask you about relationship about Austria and Thailand. Well, we have very vivid uh, relationships, very intense relationships. Also, we are very distant countries, uh, geographically speaking. But I'm not going to talk about economy and tourism because, as you know, we are in a pandemic and these sectors are suffering very much. So it doesn't make much sense to talk about that right now. But I want to tell you that we have also very good uh, and meaningful relationships in the field of education. You know, in the 1960s, when uh, His Majesty uh, King Rama IX and uh, Queen Sirikit visited Austria, the relations got a big, big boost. But one of the sectors in which we boosted the relations was education. For instance, Austria set up uh, in the early 70s, together with Thailand, uh, the Thai-Austrian Satahit Technical College. Today, in Thailand, you have around 400 of such colleges for dual uh, vocational training and education. But at that time, it was a flagship project and Austria supported that college for various decades. And it's until today called the Thai Austrian uh, Technical College. And then later in the eight years, uh, um, Princess Sirindorn uh, visited Austria and we boosted our relationship very much in the field of science and universities. And in the 90s, uh, we set up, it was already necessary to set up a network of university. We set up a network which is called the Austrian South East Asian University Network, uh, uh, ASEA Uninet. And uh, it uh, led to a lot of uh, networking exchanges of students, of teachers of professors of research and so on and 10 years later it we expanded that network uh, to a European and regional level it was called the ASEAN European uh, Academic University Network but with the same acronym ASEAN UNINET and nowadays more than 80 universities of both regions Europe and Southeast Asia Asia participate, but the most active partners are Thailand and Austria, with each of them having 20 universities participating in that network. And that is very meaningful. And we have, for instance, up to 70, 80 Thai students every year in Austria. And we have, on the other hand, also 30, something like these Austrian students in Thailand, not to speak also of professors. 
Uh, and um, that also makes that nowadays I find among the friends of Austria when we have um, different functions, uh, I find so many alumni and al alumni, Thai alumni and alumni who have studied in Austria and who are our friends and who are nowadays in important positions in the administration, in the economy, in various fields here in Thailand. Uh, um, of course, after the pandemic, uh, we have to uh, recover and we have to uh, uh, work back better. Um, and um, I think the fields that are mentioned, they give a lot of uh, uh, area for, for, for improving and for even intensifying our, our relationship. If I mention, for instance, uh, education, research and, uh, uh, and uh, universities, of course, we can uh, work together on artificial intelligence to, to make uh, artificial intelligence instrumental in reaching the uh, 2030 SDG goals, the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, we should intensify also the uh, mobility, academic mobility, also for university staff. We could set up, uh, you know, um, uh, databases between the two countries concerning research and, um, and study. Uh, we could also, uh, of course, internationalize even more the curricula of different countries. And we could also commercialize maybe the um, uh, results of joint research projects. And there's another area where Austria would like to contribute to, uh, to, uh, here in Thailand for sustainability, uh, for sustainable goals uh, in the field of uh, sustainable energy, energy efficiency, uh, innovation. For instance, I was in Nong Bua when an Austrian company has set up a um, power plant um, uh, a um, biomass power plant which uses agricultural residues. It gasifies agricultural residues and then the gas is transformed into electricity and this can be fed into the electricity network. Which means that the farmers can bring their agricultural residues which now are burned in the open air and they cause so much air pollution they can bring these agricultural residues to the power plant. The power plant will buy them, so the peasants have a, an additional uh, um, income from, uh, from these uh, agricultural waste, and then it will be gasified and used as electricity, turned into electricity and have another added value. Uh, and instead of contributing to the pollution of the air, it contributes to the aim of energy for all and also to the aim of increasing the income of farmers. So I think there are technologies from Austria which we would like to offer, which we are already offering, but which we would like to offer in the future also in an even increased uh, way. I am with. So the little one they make, uh, excuse me, the little one you know, they make the holder oh. and the big girls make the mask. Oh, the mask. Very nice one oh, with the uh, wonderful. Muslim, Muslim clothing and thing. And the little one make this. Mm -hmm. And the big boy, they're thinking what to do. So here we come with the decoupage and the big boys making all these products. Mm -hmm. So this is really wonderful. We, we don't have to worry that they don't have anything to occupy during the long school holiday. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Yeah, you? that is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Yeah, so they are very really nice people too. Oh. They are so generous. They are so generous. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>